Hey, it's Ben's from WP Launch Club with your WordPress tip of the day. Here's a really simple solution for something that many of you are going to need, probably already want. That is a way to obfuscate or hide the basics of embedding a YouTube hidden video. So the basic idea is that YouTube is normally fully public and visible, hidden, or password protected or private, if you will. You can't use the private one because then nobody will be able to see it unless you've specifically added them to the video. Uh, the public ones are terrific, but if you're running a simple course and you just wanna make it a little harder for non-technical people to see the kind of stuff that would lead them away from your site. In other words, you wanna make it that, yeah, you're not really pretending it isn't video from YouTube, but you're also just trying to say, hey, don't leave my site to go to YouTube while you're watching it. This is an easy and free solution. It's the Protected Video Plugin by Alec Rust. I'm gonna show you in about two minutes how to set it up. Basically, you're either gonna use the short code or the Gutenberg block. Both of them are super simple. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new page and we'll just call this something like Protected Video. And I'm gonna use Gutenberg because that's just so easy, right? So Protected Video Example. And I'm gonna put in, uh, let's first put in a column, oh, not a code. Let's go ahead and click that out and put in a column. And then inside of, uh, I'm gonna do the centered. Inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and type in protected video. Now I've already enabled the plugin. This allows us to put the URL of a video. Here I've got one of my popular videos uh, from a couple years ago. I simply grab either the URL here or I use the share to get the URL and I'll paste that in place, even gives me instant thumbnail. And if I want, I can do further refinement of the box and so forth, but it's not necessary because watch what happens. If I preview this, I've got instant satisfaction, something that is quick and simple that I could put inside a Learn Dash or a Lifter course. And you'll notice when I roll my mouse over, none of the normal YouTube stuff shows up. When it's playing, it will show the YouTube stuff but it won't allow me to click through on it. So for example, I can still see the controls for the speed and so forth, but you'll notice I can't click, even though I'm trying to escape from the actual website itself. And that's the main benefit. I hope this helps you out with your coursework embedding and more. I'll see you on the next video.